CD, what was it like when you recovered that onside kick and was able to take it to the house? Uh, honestly, it all happened so fast. It was just a split second decision. Um, you know, I had, I heard it from the defensive guys at the, after um, knowing I should have took a knee, but it was it was it was too open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How big was it for you and, and your teammates to get a, another victory at, at home and, and the second victory in a row? It's been the first time the Cowboys have done that in a long time. It's been it's been huge. Uh, obviously, we're trying to see what we. What, we're building here, and uh, we're all we're taking steps in the right direction. Obviously, with these past two weeks uh, coming out victorious, and uh, right now we're living it up, enjoying the win. And uh, next week we'll have Philly here. Hey, CD, back back when Dak first got hurt, you you said something about how you know this was going to be a maturing process for you, a chance for you to mature as a player. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure this is you know this is your best day since Dak went out 85 yards you had the touchdown as well how do you how do you feel like you've uh, you know adjusted to that challenge or you know has it been as good or better than than you were thinking back when that happened uh, personally I feel like I have a, I still have a lot to work on and many others will tell you the same and uh, obviously when Dak went down uh, I knew in my in, in my position I had to step step up and uh, you know the team and help the team a lot more just in, on my behalf and uh Going into work every day, just thinking about you know the same situation. Just going in to be better every week. Learn you know from Andy, uh, Coop, all the guys that I have around me, Zeke, TP. Uh, you know the list goes on. And then having Coach McCarthy, you know, in my ear every now and then. It's just we. It's just me overall, just trying to be better for the team, and uh, that's what I approach it as, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. CD, how much you guys look at this? You guys are still in this. With two games to play, uh, it's all went by so fast. As now that I reflect on it, and uh, I've thought about it a couple of times, but uh, you know, your rookie year fly by. Many people told me, but uh, it's not over. And I still, like you said, I still have two more weeks. Over these past two games during this winning streak, there have been a lot of turnovers that have been forced on defense and special teams. How integral has that been today and really over these two games? It's been very impactful. Um, you can see it. You can see it on TV. You can see it on the screen. You can see it. You can feel it in in, in, the, in the arena. And uh, defensive guys, when they turn over the ball, it just it's in, it's electric. Uh, it gives a boost to the offense, you know. And then it forces us to play complementary football. And uh, that's what we've been preaching and what we've been practicing. Uh, just trying to be consistent. And defense has done a great job these past two games, just giving us the ball, giving us the opportunity. CD, how would you describe the game that Tony Pollard had today? Unbelievable. Um, the the forty six yarder was just icing on the cake. Uh, he definitely gave us. He 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 bought um, Zeke. Obviously, with Zeke being out, I know he felt a lot of weight on his shoulders um, when he was named the starter. But guys like TP, you know, they're ready for. It. Um, he he worked his tail off, and uh, for him to just go out there and have a game he had, um, man, I'm proud of him, and uh, I just look to build with him. CD, I'm sorry if you answered this already, but can you talk about the importance of you guys getting those turnovers early, getting a lead, and being able to dictate tempo? How important that is for the offense? Uh, turnovers is key, uh, no matter what game you play, and we emphasize it a lot. Just, just practice what you preach, uh, and we preach the ball uh, just about every week until Sunday. And for the guys to go out there and showcase and put up the turnover numbers that they had today, uh, it makes the offense and the team like us just, you know, grateful for this. For the, for the situation and the stage that we're on and the team and the chemistry that we're building here and uh, that we're trying to build with the guys that we have. And uh, obviously due to, due to the injuries, it, you know, we, we, we short a little bit. But like I said, the chemistry is there. Uh, we, every guy has to have that ne next man up mentality, and uh, they have, and uh, they showed it they showed. Now that this game is behind you, what's it going to be like for you to have faced all three of your college quarterbacks with whom you played all in your rookie season with Jalen Hurts coming up next? It speaks volume about OU. Um, they're definitely the quarterback factory. And uh, the three guys that I play with is, is, is huge. It speaks volume on them, too, uh, just for them to be named starters in their organization. And uh, 
I look, uh, I'm, I'm proud to actually have this opportunity to, you know, play the whole season and to play against them guys. And uh, I'm looking to see how far they've come because I know how hard they worked in college. And uh, like, I can't wait to see Jalen out there. Speaking about you, the, the one thoughts on him getting another Big 12 victory uh, right there where you play at AT&T Stadium yesterday? Oh, you has a thing for the, you know, AT&T Stadium. So uh, I wasn't really, you know, shocked. The six in a row, um, I'm proud of them guys. And, you know, we've got to get another one next year and whatever's coming up next next game. Did you the long catch down the sideline from Andy? How much was that a design play or is that you guys making eye contact and knowing whether you were – where to go? It's kind of both. Um, it was a design play for me to get on the other, you know, side of the field, and, and he was in scramble mode, and then we kind of, you know, had a connection. He trusted me to, you know, make a play, and he definitely did. He he gave me a great ball to, you know, do what I had to do, and he made my job a lot easier just, you know, run up under it. So, and he put me in a better position than, you know, I was already in. So, I'm thankful for the opportunity.